So in this video we're going to run down the best free transfers in Football Manager 2017. We're going to go position by position, so we'll start off with the goalkeeper and we'll work our way all the way to the strikers. Some cracking bargains out there this year in the game, so um, let's go ahead and get started and we'll start you off with the goalkeeper. So this year we've gone for Vladimir Gabalov in goal. I mean he's got some great little stats so you can pick him up absolutely free of charge. Reflexes, handling, agility and jump in reach there. How about that? Also we've gone for like second choice Belgium guy Lauren Henkelet. Yes, him indeed. So we got handling fifteen, reflexes fourteen and jump in reach of fourteen as well. So some great little free goalkeepers there. I'm sure you'll agree. Next up we'll go straight to right back. And we got some great little right backs. First of all you'll see Mycon Fantastic right back. He's played 76 times for Brazil. You can see that he scored seven goals for Brazil as well. He's 35, so he's getting on a bit, but he's still got strength. He's obviously lacking a little bit of stamina, but he's still got his pace as well. And you can see, obviously, he's still got all his technical um, attributes and his mental attributes. So it's definitely worth um, having a look at Mike on. You can, if you've got very little cash to spend, definitely worth trying to get him in. Second, we've gone for this chap here. He's... Albanian or Armenian, he's Albanian, he's 33 years old, but again, he's still got the physical attributes, so you don't really have to worry about him declining, well, he's, I suppose you do have to worry about him declining in the future, but at, right at the moment, he's pretty decent, he's got very good defensive skills, positioning and teamwork, vision and work rate and bravery and everything, so he's very solid defensively, Um. so yeah, you can play him as centre-back as well, so those are the two right-backs we've gone for, honourable shout-out here to John Lennon, <laughs> Don't know how he sneaked in there, but uh, I can't find George Harrison or Ringo Starr there. So we're going to go for left backs next. Left backs, we're going to go for this guy here. He's an Ivorian from the Ivory Coast. He's 29 years old, and all these Ivory Coast players, they've got great physical attributes you'll find most of the time. He's got the crossing ability there, which is great. He's a good little left back, to be honest. Maybe lacking a little bit on a, on a tackle inside and the defensive side, but going forward, certainly... He is exciting. And then we're going to go for this young Spanish chap here, Alex Menendez. Again, left back and play left wing back as well. Uh, probably a lot more solid all over the board, but he's maybe lacking a little bit of acceleration and strength. Um, that's why we chose the other chap. Honourable shout out this time for Kieran Richardson, ex Man United. Probably getting a little bit over the hill here, but it might be worth offering him a contract because he can play few positions. Right, next up, centre back, we're gonna go for Ede, a Brazilian chap. He's only 21, so he's gonna improve. You can see here he's already got decent attributes, so he'd be a good signing for most teams really, especially considering he's free. So have a look at getting him in. He could play in a lot of positions as well. Great little bite. And then the other guy here is Martin, I don't know how to say his last name, Kakeres. But I think he's played for um Barcelona. He's played for a lot of Decent teams are Juventus, that's where I was, Juventus, Seville, yeah, Barcelona as well, Villarreal. So, proven pedigree on this chap here, and obviously you can see that in his statistics. So those are the two we've gone for, and then honourable mention here to Ricardo Cavallo. He's played 89 times for Portugal and scored six goals. He's 38 years old, but he's still alive and playing the game. Might be worth getting him in. You can see he's got very, very, very solid attributes. Obviously lacking a little bit physically as he has gone on in age. There's a lot of defensive midfielders available for free in the game this year. Um, we've gone for this chap here. Samba Diakati. He's 27 years old. And you can see he's got the physical side. A lot of the defensive midfielders you can get for free uh, this year are like your Michael Essians and stuff like that. They have They've got the attributes um, technically and mentally, but they're dying physically. I mean, my class has got stamina of five, I think. So get this guy in, Samba Diakati. And then next up, I think we chose... Was it Roberto? Roberto looked solid. Yeah, Roberto looked solid all over the park here. So he's very decent. He's still only 31 as well. So those are the two we'd go for. And like, I'm say like I was saying, we'd go for the honourable mention for Michael Essien. Again, we all know what wonders he did in the Premier League but his stamina for some reason has gone down to five and that's not what you want in the centre of midfield at all. 
Next up, we go for a more kind of attacking centre midfielder. And the two boys who jump out with us are this guy here. A lot more attacking, passing. He's got the passing, he's got the off the ball, he's got the flair, the decisions, the composure. So maybe even play him an attacking mid, centre mid there. And Leon Osman jumped out for us as well. 35 years old, but he's still got a little bit of physical physicality rather. And he's got those mental and technical skills left over from his days at Everton. So pick him up on a free, play him in the centre of mid field. Honourable shout outs in centre midfield today goes to Kevin Nolan. Lacking physically, four pace. But if you play him in this attacking midfield role in the lower leagues, maybe he could do something for you. He can finish. He's got composure and he's got great leadership and bravery. So he's got great mental stats. I mean, he might be able to do something for you in the centre of the park in the lower leagues, as I say. Next up, we're going to go for attacking right midfielder. And the first guy who jumps out at us is this chap here. Available for completely free, obviously. And he's got great acceleration and pace and a decent first touch in dribbling and flair so stick him on the wing and just let him run to the byline and stick the ball in definitely worth having a look at getting him in i think the next guy we went for was possibly this chap here yep again pace dribbling first touch very similar very versatile as well play both wings can also play up front so i definitely look at getting him in and honorable mentions on the right wing there are no other mentions on the right wing, so let's go down the bottom here for this Moroccan chap. He's got some crossing. He hasn't got much pace, unfortunately. You just stick it on. Oh, that's who we were going to do, on a mention. That's right. So we were going to go Ryan Taylor. So if we have a look back here at right back, if you bear with me a second, we'll find Ryan Taylor. We wouldn't necessarily play him attacking right midfield. He's not competent at that but we put, would play him up on the right midfield because he can cross the ball he's got great free kick taking which is why I'd want him in my squad because free kick taking as well as long throws really um, it can get you goals and especially in the low leagues teamwork he's got some great stats he hasn't really got the pace unfortunately to play in his preferred positions on the right and on the left of the defence but yeah like I say get him on the right wing use him as like a poor man's David Beckham, if you will, that's what I would do. So that's an honourable honorable mentions there done for the right wing. Next up, we're going to be looking at the attacking midfield in the left position. Um, the guys that jump out at us here are this guy here, the Senegalese 19-year-old Thor. So by Thor, for God's sake, his name's Thor. His acceleration is 14, his pace is 13, his crossing is 14. His first touch is 14, but like I say, he's 19 years old. He will grow and he'll develop. He's got the flair as well. Definitely worth looking at getting him into your team. Labiad here, we're going to mention very shortly. He's a very good um, very good buy. Jeremy House, Nouse, Nouse. Again, 19 years old, left winger. Already got 16 crossing. I mean, get this guy in and train him up. That crossing will go up to 20. And if you've got a guy who's got 20 crossing, you've got the best crossing in the game. He's got pace as well and crossing you don't really need much else so have a look at getting that guy in okay honorable mentions on the left wing kieran richardson again here he is so uh, no we'll go for elton this time because elton was pretty decent he's got dribbling he's called elton you might want to nickname him elton john play him in the center play him on the left you can dribble he's got flair again and he's got pace so why not get him in elton Right then, next up, we're going for attacking midfield centre. And like I mentioned just now, we're going to go have a look at Zach Ari Labiad. So he's got some great technical ability. Um, I think he used to be on the books at Manchester City. He's got some great attributes all over the park, and he's very versatile. He's only 23 as well, so he will improve. We'll have a look at his history here. Mm, I know he wasn't quite at Man City, but he's played for some um, prestigious clubs throughout Europe so again look at getting this guy in then we're going to look at Daniel Carvalho previous football manager games he's been great it's been difficult to get work permit for him I'm not sure if it's going to be the same with this game but he's played for Brazil he's got four caps and two goals for Brazil so that's a great ratio to be honest with you he's great technically and he can cross the ball 
so definitely look at getting him in if you can. Right then, we're going to go to the striker now, finally, and it's very hard to look past this man here. Football Manager 2017, Dimitar Berbatov is on the free transfer list. We all know about Dimitar Berbatov. Finishing and first touch and technique are his trademarks. He's a fantastic player. Obviously, his pace is, is going south a little bit since he's 35, but get him in, play him up front, feed balls to him. He, I'm, I'm no doubt that he will score goals for you. He didn't play for his last club, the Malga. Oh no, sorry, he's just trying Malga here on the free. But his last club, I think, I was, is at Athens. Played 14, scored 4, 26, 7, 12, 7. But he scores goals wherever, wherever he goes. So get him in. The next guy we're going to go for on the striker list today is. It's so hard to choose, but it's not hard to choose because we've got Adebayor. He's 32, and his physical side is still there. I mean, you need, you need to have a look at getting him in because he can finish first touch, physicality. Great. Get him into, the, get him into your club. Honourable mentions then. Has to go to Bobby Zamora. You can see he's picked up his two caps for England there. Didn't get to score, unfortunately. But yeah, he's still got the finishing and the composure. So, again, very similar to Berbatov and Adebayo. Very similar type of players. This guy can head the ball a little. Look at that. Head and determination. And long shots as well. But very good idea to get this guy in into your club, especially if you're lower leagues. He, I'm sure he will bang those goals in for you. That's it for the list today, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content coming soon.